Good day again, ladies and germs. My name is Murphy Lama, and welcome to Until Dawn. I was looking for something to play since I beat Resident Evil 7, and I remembered I never beat this. I played it and never beat it. So I figured, why not beat it? Play it for the videos. Smallest decision can dramatically affect some butterfly's wings or something. Ugh, it's all veiny. It's all veiny, just like... It's, ugh, it's almost like a dick. Are, are the veins turning into a trail, uh, a snowy mountain trail? So yeah, there's supposed to be decisions that can... Uh, uh, apparently can affect the outcome of the story. One of those games, I love those type of games. Your story is one of many possibilities. Not quite that many. Like, it makes it seem like... Is not though. The problem with most of these games, they give you choices throughout that you can make choices and change things that are happening as they're happening, but you really can't usually affect the end. And I think this one you can to an extent. Man, you don't want to be a teenager in a cabin, man. Snowy cabin in the woods? That's just asking for trouble. Oh, oh, someone with the machete. Psychopath, obviously. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually... What did you do? It's that girl from that show. Hayden Panty... Panty wear or, or something. Okay, I already hate Emily and Mike. Ah, uh, Mike, I guess isn't too bad, but Emily's a cunt, and so is that other girl. Because they were planning to play a prank on somebody else, obviously. <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> and they're all in on it. Oh yeah, that's not a... Can I just say the one that was behind that little uh, thing looked creepy as shit? Okay. It's Hannah, Hannah kind of got it going on. And I kind of got some stuff working for her. Who is this? Oh my god, psychopath. What are you doing? I guess that could just be... Did you see that? No, nobody saw that. This weekend. Everybody's oh. gone. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, now I'm controlling. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. One thing I remember. Look at that booty. Not quite as good as the girl's booty in Friday the 13th, but still pretty good booty. Who is this? This asshole's asleep. Drunk. Passed out. I can't talk to him. Something's glowing. Well, there's two people passed out and drunk. Okay. Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle, and I remember, yeah, you can move it around. Jeremiah Greg. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us no. all. Alcoholic. Don't, don't, don't promote that behavior. Okay? He is clearly an alcoholic. Take the paper. Look at the paper. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I eat, bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at two, Mike Triple X. Oh my God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? I don't think Mike wants to fuck her, though she is pretty. She does look good in that top. Damn, just go right to taking it off. Yeah, Mike. God, that was creepy. Start with a little, you know. Making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, she. Oh my god, am I gonna have to censor this? Oh my god. Oh, she's got a tattoo of a butterfly. What? Oh They're talking. God. They ruined it! Matt? I got my dick out for nothing! What's going here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna be just a stupid prank. Uh, stupid prank? That was not a prank. That was mean. Jerks. 
Mike was into it though. Like he, it was a prank, but Mike was like, "Yeah, okay. I wish all these people weren't here now." Use the right stick to cho uh, choose. What am I choosing? Find others. Wake Josh. Wake up, Josh! You bitch! You drunk? Our sister's running away, and she's upset and crying. What are you what the helling about? Cause the house is empty? What's going on? Where's my Where'd you get a jacket? Fine, she just can't that booty is nice. A prank hand. You're a cut. I hate you, Emily. I hope you die. You jerks. You're assholes, all of you. Hannah! Oh, Hayden's kinda cool. All the rest of them can die. I don't give a shit. Emily especially. Oh god! Shit. Quick time! God, I'm not good. I'm, I'm not quick. I used to be so fast. Fast! Fuck it. We ain't got time for safe. We ain't got time for safe. Yeah, QTE. I saved like two seconds. Follow the noise! It's probably a deer or something. I probably should have followed the human footprints. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Oh, there she goes. I just saw her I saw her running. It's not footprints I'm watching. I'm I saw her run. I like legit saw where she went. Fast, jump, yeah, you already did it once, you know how to do. Where, where'd you get that from? Oh my god. Hannah. Oh my god, I got like a light and shit. Oh fuck you, birds, I ain't into this. Hannah, where you at, you dummy? It was just a prank hand. God, I hate Emily already. Whoa, I knew it was a deer. I saw the deer. Hold that one to walk faster. Yeah, can we please? Hello? 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 Girlfriend. What is that? It's a, it's a, oh my God, it's a, a booty totem. Oh my god. Oh, was that me? Death total. Oh. Okay. I see a death. I see my death. I don't appreciate that very much. Can y'all change the camera angle? Thank you. What the hell is that? They burn in the forest? That was like a flamethrower or some shit. Where'd they go? Oh my god! What the hell was that? It's that car-crushing Godzilla monster thing. Hannah. Was that her? Hannah. She failed. Why are you running out in the middle of the fucking woods in a snowstorm with no jacket just because you... Here. Who does that? Who's like, oh my god. Idiot. I'm running into the forest because I'm sad. Why would you not just like go... What is that? Fucking predator! Why is there a predator after us? What did we do? I gotta get ready for QTEs, I think. Hannah. Hannah, of course you failed, you dumb bitch! My phone. I knew it! My phone! I knew it was gonna go down there. Fucking predators after us and shit. Oh god, why are we backing up on the ledge? Get back. Hannah gonna fall. She gonna fall. She's so clumsy. And why are you running through the woods in the middle of the night if you just damn clumsy? Just drop her. Hannah's fat. Hold on. What the hell is that? A dragon predator? It's a predator that's also a dragon? Well, he's trying to help. 
Fucking grab him! Drop Hannah! I'm gonna drop Hannah! Fuck you, Hannah, you clumsy bitch! No, I fell anyway, of course! Oh. Oh my god! So, both of Josh's sisters died, I think? The analyst. Dr. AJ. Oh, I remember this. I love this guy. This actor's great. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. What? Why are you opening your mouth? What happened last year? The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Well, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Are you talking to me? Stories will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Are you talking to Josh? Is this Josh's therapist or mine? So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. You're creepy as fuck. Do you know that? Right. Why are your mouth movements so weird? With a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? Why is it that they... picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. But why is it whenever they get actors like this, and I think they do some kind of cat motion capture thing, why do they always have them do the weirdest fucking mouth movements? Wait, is this me? I don't understand that. Like, why make them so weird? It's this fucking creepy ass scarecrow in a barn. Or at a barn. It looks like there's two eyes in the bottom left corner. You see that? Those two red dots. So, how did that picture make you feel? It makes me feel like you're creepy as shit. It makes me happy. I feel uneasy. It doesn't make me happy. It looks creepy as shit. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? That you gave it to me, and you keep making these weird-ass faces. It's the scarecrow, because it's not the, the bo uh, If it wasn't for the scarecrow, it wouldn't be that bad. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Yeah. I mean, it looks normal other than that. I mean, it's fucking cornfield. told you that this cottage was haunted. I wouldn't care, because I don't believe so, ghosts are real. I've never seen one, so... Yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. I suspect that you're a creepy douche. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in people dressing up like a fucking weird-ass scarecrow and jumping down in the middle of the night and cutting your throat. Maybe you! Maybe you dress up as scarecrows for your fun time. I don't know what the purpose of that guy is, but I want to punch him in the face, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Oh, copyright music. I didn't mute the music. Good music. 
It sounds like something out of Firefly. One of the best shows ever, by the way. Until dawn. There's Snow. Hayden Penny Tear. I told you. Her name was Penny Wearer. Peter Stormare. I think that was the guy. Nobody else matters from this point on. <laughs> Britt Dalton and Rami Malik. Noah Fleiss and Galit. I ain't even gonna try to say your name. Fuck you for having that name. I think they, uh. They really tried to make it feel like a movie, this opening, with the opening credits. Most games don't do that. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington. What is that? Still one year ago tonight, the Washington girls left. Is that ambulance? Lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned oh. them pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was... Oh, that's a bus. A small bus. Still the old Senate. Special bus. Hayden Penny, where is on the special bus? I knew it. Grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. Wait, what? Did they move? Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello. Oh, the mountain is named after them. Oh, God. All right. He's a YouTuber. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Really? First off, I gotta say, I'm... Your two sisters were killed up there and you're going back? The annual Blackwood winter getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Do you have an elephant? You're all That's a pretty good blast, man. That's a pretty good party. It's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking about uh, uh, Yeah, you know that, do you? They're dead. How can you know that? You're fucking, you're fucking clairvoyant. You're talking to them. Share some moments that. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> so, why am I so angry towards everybody in this cave? You know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes. You're in one year is all it took you to get over that shit. Oh god, there's fucking mines and shit. This is some St. Valentine's Massacre shit. What was that name? The Valentine's Day Massacre. Wait, what? What was that movie? Something like that. I remember I went and watched that in the movie theaters. Oh, death. It's the name of this song. Like wood pines. I remember I went and saw that Valentine's Day Massacre movie in 3D. It's one of the first three new movies I saw. It's the first 3D horror movie. And it worked really okay. The movie kind of sucked. Oh, special bus pulling up. Everybody out. Whoop, whoop. The game just started. We've already seen two deaths. Ten hours until dawn. Who's dawn and why is she coming? What if I don't want... Oh my god, he's back. Who are you? Are you the guy that has a problem with the Washington family they were talking about? Sam, Hannah's best friend. Well, Hannah's dead. Diligent, considerate, adventurous... And a panty wearer. Okay. Hello? Who are you talking to? 
Oh, someone is definitely there watching you. Probably, probably touching themselves. We're gonna move fast because I ain't got time for this shit. Right stick to move the camera. Oh my god, this is like magic. Wait, what do I see over here? I knew it, I saw everything. Object is a glint can be expected. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. Anything on the back? There is. Yo, how do I get there again? Directions. Uh huh. Worth a try. Oh. I tried. I tried. Maybe he was lying. They do like to play jokels, huh? Climb up. Quick time event. Go quick. Let's go quick. I'm a mountain climber. I can tail. I can tail. I climb all the mountains in the world. Jump. Uh, climb. Climb. Boom! So fast. She's a good climber. Okay, now jump. Maybe? Are you gonna jump? Is that, that creepy guy still watching? How is he always right there? I wonder. That fence don't do much if you can just... Oh my God, it's a little squirrel. You hungry? Don't move. Don't nobody breathe. <laughs> Kitty. Oh my god, little squirrel's my friend. I eat the squirrel. You can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Okay, got it. So this is great scenery, great graphics. For when it came out. It came out a while back. Oh, something about the butterfly things. If it's black, it symbols death. Red means danger. Brown means loss. Yellow is guidance. And white is fortune. I want yellow. I need guidance. I need to see what to do next. Oh, so there's going to be... Oh. As you explore, you can discuss... Yeah, I can see that. I'm trying... I want to pick it up and turn around if you'll let me. Well, I think I can tell right now that this is yellow. It is yellow. There's a bird and a snowball. The future is uncertain whether or not the prophecy comes true. It depends on the choices you make. Oh my god, what a... What a view! Now that is a thumbnail. God damn. Chris, are you here? Chris might be there, he might not. We don't know. I'm gonna explore before I touch that backpack though. Oh. Clue found one of Milgram Victor. Height six two. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense. Oh! Arson. Anything else over here that I need to find? Oh, what? The past is beyond our control. Hmm. So, I feel like Josh kind of got over stuff a little too quickly. So, I'm wondering if he's looking for a little revenge. Why would you bring all the same people back up here? After your sisters were killed, sort of by these people. They wouldn't have died. A phone. Someone's phone, you nosy bitch. Snoop or close bag? Oh, what do I want to do? Kind of want to snoop. 
Yeah, I'm gonna snoop. Aha! Look who it is. Ashley. He knows you. Hey, Chris. I know it's Chris. Oh my God, has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous, and weird as fucking lips. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. No, you can't. It's mine. I will see. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Are you gonna kill me? I think everything. I'm gonna think that every single thing is here to kill me. Blow my mind. I don't know what he's gonna. He's gonna kill me. I'm fucking kill him first. Sneak up behind him and hit him. Whack him. Whack him a good one. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? What? Yeah. Come on. Totally cool, bro. Look at you, you're hideous. Fuck you, and fuck, you're gonna die too. What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski Wait, was he part of that last? I don't think he was part of the. Yeah? He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. I'll try. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, now I'm Chris. Here goes. I'm gonna shoot everything I hate. What do I. What, am I actually gonna shoot, or is he just gonna pop some off? I'm actually shoot. Shoot that up there. Oh! It was. Oh, there was a specific target. Fuck. Bang! Bang! Cans. Cans are fun to shoot. That's what I wanted to shoot the first time. Boom! Wow, nice. Trying to gun it. All right. Oh yes, yeah, good accent. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead. This is horrible. Luck. Huh? This is like this is like a bad uh, C movie. <laughs> Boom bottle. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That was the one that was further back. I'm not shooting a squirrel. I'm not shooting a squirrel. Sorry. Not gonna shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> what the fuck? It's a horrible B movie. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris. Could I have blown the squirrel's head off? That would have been god awful. I got an update from my butterfly effect. Cause I didn't shoot the squirrel. Why who would? Who's the asshole that plays this game and shoots the squirrel? I don't want to meet them. I hate sudden camera changes. I know it's supposed to... It's definitely weird coming back up here. Were you there? I don't... Oh, was this the guy that was passed out with Josh? Door's locked. Yeah. You already checked that. Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. You're creepy. Shut up. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. Shut up. I have a key. Don't worry. After you. Oh, real gentleman. I'll be honest with you, head and panty wear is kinda cute. In a weird way. Where are we going? Oh, it's like that's inside the house? That first one was inside the house. Oh, no. I forgot. It was definitely inside the house. Looked like a bathtub. Is the tram here yet? Finally. You coming? Yeah. I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but... Let's head up the mountain here. Just like going to the prom. I am recording, right? I really hope I am. Here we go. Right. The adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all. 
doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Yeah, because his fucking siblings died last year in a horrible fall. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. Or maybe he's excited to get his revenge, which is what I suspect. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. As much as you can. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat we were in camp. We came into my room and I wasn't wearing underwear. Existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. Cool story, dude. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or with a serial killer. Or maybe Chris is a serial killer. Butterfly effect. No, oh, they brought it up. Oh, God. It is like a cheesy B-movie. A cheesy B-horror movie. This is exactly... <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. Uh, who's this? Which one's this? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. So he's not with Emily anymore. Interesting. Good, I hated Emily. New people. Time to meet and greet. What if it's a monster on there? You don't know anything. Alright, guys. Uh, I just zoomed in on her face. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave that episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to slam that like button on your way out. And as always, sally forth into the future.